So before this video starts, I just want to make a few little disclaimers. One being that this is not me actually making fun of ships. I really don't care <laughs> most of the time. Except there is one ship that I'm very against, and you'll see which one it is. But other than that, this was all out of good fun. There is, I'm not trying to offend anyone, um, and this will go into my second point, which is that this is not me trying to make fun of anyone's artwork. The artwork in this video, not mine, belongs to their crea it belongs to their creators. And I have to say that the artwork in this video, there's like some really, really good ones in here. So, no hate to anyone. This video was all out of good fun. This do not take Jeff's opinion seriously. So yes, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, it's me Jeff. You saw the title, you know what this is. Sequel that I don't want to do. At all. Okay? At all! If you're new, you don't know. Back for Valentine's Day, I reacted to ships that I'm involved in. The main ones. It was pretty torturous. I'm not gonna lie. I did not enjoy it. One bit. Not at all. So today, um, I'm being forced to do a second. By Toby, the Larry Johnson looking ass. Yeah, her. I thought, or well, I knew, but I hoped, that those were really the only ships that people cared about and gave a shit about. Apparently, I was wrong. There are so many ships. The ones I'm going to be reacting to today aren't as mainstream, but they're still pretty well known. You guys had suggested, and I'm sadly going to be reacting to some of the ones that you guys told me about. Knifey is being left out of the equation. I talked to her about this before, and she said that um, she would go through this with me, but I told her that she didn't want to be involved at all because it was torturous. Um, yeah, so, Mini-Me is going to be joining us today. Um, I might have to close his eyes throughout some of this, so, but, let's get on to the video. If you understand this reference, I automatically love you. First ship we're starting off with, Jeff X Toby. Okay, you see, this was actually this is actually a pretty popular ship apparently, because this was asked a lot about in the last video in the comments. People were like, "Well, where is the Jeff X Toby?" And I never really realized that we were a ship. I guess until now, I'm friends with Toby. We first bonded over the fact that we both have dead siblings that we miss dearly, but we're not in love or anything. We're just friends. I think people might be getting the wrong idea from that scene in Needles and Smiles. Toby, I can't reach the map. It's in my back pocket. I kind of need you to get it. Gay. Look, dick boy, we need to get out of here. Just dig in and get it. You know how gay that sounds, Jeff. And not to mention, I'm married, and he's asexual. I guess we'll get onto this and get it on. I know this is ship art because of the tag I found it in, but this isn't inherently ship- I, I mean, it could just be romance, you know? Um, but I doubt it. Okay. That's not romance. Okay, let's skip, let's skip. No. Again, we're friends. Please don't tell me that's our child. Please don't tell me that's our love child. Please, don't tell me that's ours. Who would, who would give birth to the baby though? Neither of us have a uterus. Or a, you know. Okay. So we got one of those uh, little anime thingy-mabobbers. Where you, where one of those anime websites where you um, have these bases and you put hair and accessories on them. Um, so, this that's me as a hot anime boy. Um, with this Ash the Killer. 
mini me, we have infiltrated the self insert. He doesn't look comfortable. I don't like that. We've been through this in the last video. I really don't like non consensual looking ship art. I know it's a lot for me to say because, you know, I murder people in my spare time, but there's something about being a creep like this that I can't get along with. There's something that happens to you after you've looked at Jeff XLJ or Jeff X Slenderman fan art. <laughs> no! Oh, Mini Toad, you're gonna have to leave because you're too innocent. Next, Jeff X Jason the Toy Maker. Not gonna lie, I didn't know this was a thing. Um, I don't really think it's a thing. I just think that maybe it's like a one of those small ships. Again, these aren't mainstream as much as the other ones we reacted in the last video. The only thing is that Jason's taken by LJ. Okay, Th I'm not his man. His man will come after me if he sees this stuff. Cause I had to speak to Jason after he saw my video and was like, "Why are there videos? Why are there pictures of you with?" My boyfriend and I to explain to him that it's not me, it's the fans. I was about to throw a temper tantrum or have a panic attack. This is not ship art. This is just downright illegal. FBI has opened the chat. I don't think this is ship art. I just think this is a bonding. Is this too explicit to show? I don't know. Oh god. This is again. What's with the non-consensual fan art? This does not look consensual. I don't look happy. Is that me? Yeah. Okay, it's me. Why do I have boobs? I have tits. Wait. 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 There are two LJs. Pride Month LJ and Black and White LJ. And Mama EJ. And there's Jason. That's where I got this from. This is not ship art, but this actually happened once before. Um, I had like a raging episode. Don't want to talk about it. I stabbed Jason by accident. And he's immortal. He was fine. He was fine. It's just, um, Jack had to speak to me afterwards about it. LJ was not happy. So, not ship art, but a story. I didn't know Jason was a hairdresser. Gang space buns. I can already hear Jack yelling at me. I can already hear him. Speaking of me being shipped with people who were already taken, um, Jeff X Tim slash Masky. Actually, more mainstream than I thought it was. I think this ship has the most fan art out of all the ones we are covering today. The internet has its ways. I'm shipped with a tree. So what do we expect at this point? Tim is a taken man. Brian's gonna come kick my ass after this video. God. Okay, starting off with this. Got the blushy masky. I look like I want nothing to do with this. I'm trying to ignore the fact that he looks nothing like Tim. Like the actual Tim. But I'm just going to maybe the rest of the fan will look like him. I don't know. Huh? The roles have been reversed. First I look like a yeah, ooh, ooh. And Tim like an angsty high schooler. Who's going through his emo phase. <sighs> if you want to draw Tim accurately, just draw Elvis Presley with Tim's clothes. Okay? A capiche? Oops! This is what Tim looks like, okay? This not this! The only thing they got right, really, was the height difference. Because if you don't know, Tim's 5'6". And I'm taller, so... Brian's gonna kill me, I swear to god. Brian's gonna kill me. Oh my god. It isn't Jeff X Maskey, per se, but a... I'm in the picture, so I can comment on it. Oh, we're 
gonna have a free summer or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think that's the thing, but we're going through the theme of ships. <laughs> oh my god. I could comment about this because I'm in the picture, so. But, uh, again, a refresher course. This is what Brian actually looks like. This is what Tim looks like. They got Tim almost accurate. Okay? One thing you need to know about Brian, when you see that picture of him, his mask is a mask. It's not his face. Okay. Next ship that I am dreading. Absolutely dreading. Because you know how I said that last time, uh, the Jeff X Slenderman and uh, Jeff X Laughing Jack was bad because I'm very young in those pictures and it's kind of, you know, illegal and very FBI alerting. Well, now I'm on the other end of the table for this. And I don't appreciate it at all. Jeff X Sally. Okay, Sally Williams. Your old ghost girl who is a victim of things I don't want to talk about because they're really sensitive. She should not be shipped with anyone, period. Eight-year-olds don't think about relationships. Eight-year-olds shouldn't be in a relationships. And listen, when you're a ghost, you don't age. Well, Ben's an exception to the rule. She would miraculously start getting sexual thoughts. Again, let me just state the fact that she's a victim of, yeah. So, um, I can't support this ship. Uh, this is not just me genuinely poking fun at a crappy ship. No, this is me actually being concerned as to why people ship an eight-year-old with a teenager. Sally, no. No. You're eight. Stop it. Jeff, why? The hell is wrong with you? Get yourself together, Jeffrey. You do not go after eight-year-old girls. Do people not realize that eight-year-olds don't hit puberty? Boobs are bigger than mine. Why does she look like she's older? That's not an eight-year-old to me. At least I have abs in this and I look attractive. Someone drew her underwear in this picture. And she looks like an eight-year-old here. Why are you sexualizing children? Turns out after looking at this ship, I need to make a call to my lawyer. Scratch that. I might not have a lawyer, but I'm gonna call Mama Jack. Yeah. He's gonna fix this all if Jack finds out about this. EJ will come after you and steal your toes. Understand? Good. Next ship. Surprisingly, not a creepypasta, but someone who's been in a creepypasta. Jeff X Randy. Yeah, Randy. As in the guy that, oh, I don't know, led the band of misfits that turned me into this. Thank you, by the way. I like being Jeff the Killer. But still. Why am I shipped with that thing? I don't know. Is that me now? So this looks like me now because I can see a faint smile cut there. But um, why would me after what happened have the feelings for him? And why would he be like, oh, oh, you know, um, I might have just, you know, ruined your life and made you a notorious serial killer. Or contributed to making you a notorious serial killer. But you know, oh, I'm just gonna. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this is actually what an eight year old should look like. Why do I look like a blushing anime schoolgirl? It's like, oh, the lows cannot beat your ass up. If you not read the original story, I'm way too overpowered there. I'm not like, oh, I'm sorry, Randy, for coming on your thing. I'm just getting really creepy vibes. Did you see that guy's face? Oh, like, eh. <laughs> Shut up, Randy. X.
if only this is how the story actually went down, I wouldn't be like this. Um, yeah, Brandy and I were totally friends. Totally. So, it's not inherently ship art, but I'm still gonna put it in here anyway. So this is me after I punched Randy so many times to the point where his heart stopped. Where after he rose from the dead and confessed his crimes. More creepy vibes. I don't look like I want this. I'm like pushing him away and Randy's like, let me just put my hands up here close to your butt. What the hell? Actually, is Jeff X Randy maybe not? Super popular. Jeff, um, Randy X Keith actually very popular. The more you know when you research this stuff. Yes, he. Next ship, Jeff X Alice. Yeah, she's not a creep so she's from like a totally separate thing. I know. This is what happens when you're a popular internet character. You just get shipped with everyone. But you know what? This ship, I don't mind it. What? I don't mind a ship for once? Yeah, I know. You heard me. It's actually not that bad. Um, let's get into this. I can support this ship. I don't hate this ship. Yikes. I'm a married man. So I can't say I like this, because I've already been married. But, I do look very handsome in that suit. What can I say? I have nothing bad to say about this again. Nothing wrong with this, it's just the only thing we're not part of the same universe. That's my only critique. That's it. Chim Burns Sorrow, yeah baby! Yeah, oh that's so cool. That is so cool. More Chim Burns. Yes. Oh god. I really shouldn't be saying I don't mind this ship. Because I'm married, but... Ah, uh, so why do I not mind this ship? This was very quick, I went through this very quick. Because, well... She's my favorite girl. I'm not gonna lie. I may be knife sexual, but I'm still straight. Um, she's my type of gal, you know? Crazy. Sadistic. Attractive. Has an edgy look to her. But knifey is, don't get me wrong. Knifey is this exact same, just different. Um, but is this a married man? I feel weird saying that. But uh, that's the only ship that I can say that I'm okay with. Because we're not in the same universe. Now here we have the final countdown. The final ship we're going to be reacting to in this video. And hopefully ever. But, as you would know, the last ship that I reacted to in the Valentine's Day special was Jeff X Stick in the Mud. That's Slenderman if you're not an Everman Hyper fan. Um, but we're going to be ending today with something equally as bad. Because this is Jeff X Offenderman. Slenderman's sexual brother. I know, it's hard to say. That's really hard to say. We'll go to sleep, but with you. <coughs> Has he just become so desperate? Please don't tell me this is supposed to be a threesome. I don't want to know who the blushing anime girl is. I really don't. No. That's what? That's how I'm feeling about right now. Throughout this whole video. You know, crawling in my skin. Amy, how are you feeling about this video? Oh, Jeff, this has been awful. I hate it. It's been so terrible. You didn't shield my eyes once. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you were watching this. Baby. Yeah, I had to see all that stuff. I didn't want to see it, but I saw it. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, I don't know why I let you be part of this. Yeah, I don't know either, Jeff. I really don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching um, me suffer. You know, I'm actually... Um, going to have nightmares about all these ships tonight especially you know which ones um i won't be having sweet dreams that's for sure i think i'm going to nominate someone else because my suffering has become a burden toby rogers you're next you have no choice you're doing this video react to ships
peace. All right. Signing the video off. Jeff the Killer Woods signing out. Yeah, stay edgy. Is that my thing? I, I, I don't know. Fine!